course lecture number six in this video lecture we are going to discuss the layer option click on the above layer properties layer properties option will be displayed to how to create a new layer then viewport freeze in all viewports the next option is to delete some layer and the last option is to set an individual layer as a current layer any kind of object I am going to develop will be created in that current layer we can create our new layer with the help of this button also we can delete a layer by just selecting and pressing this delete button whenever we create some object those objects are going to be created directly in our set current layer now I am going to rename my layers to rename a layer just select a layer and then press F2 after pressing F2 button or function F2 for a keyboard now I'm going to rename this layer as a wall layer I'm assigning a wall name to this layer now I will rename this layer also with the help of function F2 or F2 button door layer the last layer will be window layer and now I'm going to assign some specific colors for each individual object type for wall I'm going to select red color and for the door I will select green color and for the windows I will select blue color what are the different purposes of these different options for the layer we'll start from the on option if you want to on and off your layer just like a bulb you can just click bulb symbol and just like that if you want to on this layer again just click on this bulb symbol and the objects that are present in that layer will be displayed in our viewport and the next option is freeze almost both options are identical but the freeze option is much more deeper implementation isolate or hide in my viewport to understand this now I'm going to close this window here I'm going to select all the windows to my window layer just click on this drop down as I have created three layers all the three layers uh, can now be seen in this drop down menu and now I'm going to select window layer after that now I'm going to hide window objects next phase is to move our door symbol into our door layer and then after that I am also uh, I will also hide this door layer with the help of this bulb icon now I'm going to add another layer for text I'll just insert layer option uh, text and then change its color to something like uh, dark green and press OK now I will select my text and move it towards our text layer I will also hide this text layer now I'm going to select all the walls of my plan and then I will move it to our wall layer at the end I'm going to unhide all the layers now you can clearly see all the objects are in its concerned layer on and freeze option both are almost similar the difference between these on and freeze option I will discuss in the up upcoming next new lectures but for now on I'm going to just give an overview of all these different options in this layer property manager so if you want to lock some layer you can lock that layer by the help of this lock option after that whenever a layer is locked you cannot perform any kind of a command for example if you want to move this object then you cannot move it and if and the next option is line color with the help of this color option you can change the color of your layer the next option is line type what kind of a line is basically used for this layer to represent the elements or objects that are present in this layer if you want to change it I will click on this layer or double click on this layer then after that click on load button and then select any type of a line from this list and then press ok after pressing ok select that object type and then press ok uh, the line type for window has been selected press cross button and the elements that are present in a window layer are changed according to the line type 
now the next option is a line weight line weight is basically the width of a line uh, after changing the width of a line all the elements present in that layer will have that width and the next option is the transparency option if you want to make a layer transparent then you can uh, enter a number from 0 to 90 on the basis of these numbers the objects that are present in that layer are going to be transparent so for example I am going to enter 50 value and then press OK now you can clearly see in the viewport that objects that are in present in the window layer are a bit more dimmed format next option is plot style plot style is basically the color which I am going to select here this color palette each color has its individual number inside a plot so plot is automatically picking the color number to so that it can be printed as selected in our color swatch if you do not want to print some kind of objects in printing phase then you can do that by just pressing that layer and all the elements that are present in that layer will not be printed or plotted the next option is the viewport freeze in viewport freeze those objects which do which you do not want to be shown in uh, layout viewport those objects which you do not want to be seen in our layout viewports then you can hide those objects by the help of new viewport freeze option by just clicking on this option the elements that are present in the text layer will not be displayed in our layout viewport and those objects will be displayed in our model space means to say that the elements that are being created in the text layer will be shown only in model space and in the layout space those elements that are created in the text layer will not be shown in the viewport space and the next one is about the description description means to to type something in text format about some kind of an information for a layer or objects that are present in that layer so you can type any kind of information for example elements in this layer are for walls so I have typed all the text which I am going to uh, be sharing with the other guys uh, a person who wants to view my file and to understand clearly what is the purpose of each individual layer and why I have created this layer and what it has he can clearly understand by just viewing description option at the end I have also uh, moved all the objects to its concerned uh, layer so in this video lecture we have discussed layer layer properties how to create layers how to delete layer how to set it in current format how to rename it how to on it how to lock it how, how to change the color and how to uh, change the line type change the line weight transparency plot color or if you don't want to print any layer in a plot then you can do that by just pressing on this option also if you do not want to uh, view a specific layer objects then you can also do that in the new VP freeze option and the description the information about that layer or some information for sharing so that's it for this lecture